welcome back to Plus Sports on Plus TV Africa. Now joining me in the studio to dive into the world of tennis is the delectable Ifi Anene. Good morning, Ifi. Hi, good morning, Ope. Thanks so much for joining me in the studio this morning. It's, I'm, very, I'm very happy to be here. Always happy to come back. All right. Now, just before we dive into the world of tennis, yeah. you know, we have a big game tonight, Nigeria yeah. versus Algeria. Yeah. And then the last time we had broken, you yeah. know, we didn't get all the way into the final, yeah. AFCON yeah. 2019. And then um, definitely we want retribution. So yeah. what are your thoughts on this game? Do you think Nigeria will be able to win? And do you want us to win? And yeah, you could even predict as well. I'd love that. Well, I'm Nigerian, so I want us to win. I think uh, we'll go in with all the positivity that we have. And um, there's a lot of bad things happening, and I, I think the, uh, our players will just give it their all and mm. just make us happy. So I think the worst case would be a draw, but mm. that can be. But I Definitely don't know. Algeria is, Algeria is always a very, very tough team to beat. So um, I hope we win. Definitely. Yeah. Hopefully we win. Yeah. All the best to the Super Eagles who will be looking forward to, to bring us some bit of happiness today and put a smile on our faces. And diving straight into the world of tennis, talking about 21-year-old American tennis player Sofia Kenin, who recorded a surprise win against the 30-year-old Czech Republic veteran Petra Kivitova. It took Kenin only two sets to cruise past Kivitova in a 6-4, 7-5 win. I mean, she's such a tough player. She's got a great, ge aggressive game, a huge serve. So uh, I knew I needed to bring my great game in order to win. And yeah, I'm just super proud of myself. It was a great match, and uh, I'm just super happy. Um, I've had really tough matches this past two weeks, so I'm just so excited to be in the finals. And uh, I think it's just incredible. And I'm just going to enjoy this moment today and start getting ready for the final tomorrow. I mean, if he, that was a surprise victory, no one saw that coming. A lot of people were actually tipping Kivitova for probably her third Grand, Grand Slam, Slam title, yeah. you know, and then she's a veteran. So far, so good. This year has been good for her, you know, coming back into form. Uh, important victories also in the Italian Open. But then what happened yesterday? Okay, so... Um First of all, Sofia Kenin won the Australia Open. True, true. And then she, last year at the, at, the, at the French Open, she went deep as well. She mm. beat Serena Williams last year at the, at the French Open. So um, I went into the, uh, when I was watching the game, I knew that there could be an upset because of their styles of play. Um, Kivitova has a very aggressive style of play, and, but that always makes her to overheat. Mm. Now, on the French Open, the weather is really cold, it's wet, the balls are heavy. So it would even make her to hit, overheat more. So you'll see sometimes most of her balls are going out. But it was a very, very good game. Sophia Kenning is always able to pull up, pull out, drop shots. She's always able to mix her shots down the line and move aggressively or move, move really well. So um, it's not so surprising for me because she won the Australian Open and she's True. been improving consistently. So, um, I mean... It's a great victory <laughs> it for her. It was a great victory but you know, for her, yeah. The, I think about it, she's 21 years old, yes. just been a pro for about four years so far, already won the Australian Open. Yeah. Is she that good of a tennis star that she can actually overthrow the big names like Serena and Petra and Cole? Can we now put her up there as one of the best or maybe considerably one of the best in the new Open era? She's definitely one of the best in the new Open era, but tennis is such a long haul game that you cannot because someone won one or two grand slams you then say you want to compete against serena no it's it's no you have to be there and keep showing up consistently at the big games she's she's part of the beautiful future of tennis and is uh, she'll always improve she'll keep improving and um, yes we'll put her as as one of the players that would um, would uh, maybe compete with bianca adrescu naomi osaka and um, you know young players who are coming up and winning Grand Slams here. Yeah. All right, now moving yeah. over to the other semi-final for the females, talking about the Polish tennis sensation, Iga Swiatek, who is past Argentina's Nadio Podoroska after only two sets as well. The 19-year-old Swiatek defeated the 23-year-old Podoroska 6-2, 6-1. I'm kind of surprised, really, because I would never thought before the tournament that I would play so good here. But... Um, on the other hand, I always knew that if I'm going to be in the final of a Grand Slam, it's going to be French Open. So I'm really happy. It's like a dream come true. Yeah, that's what I um, planned to do. So basically, I wanted to play this match as if 
it would be first round because I didn't want to think that I'm in a semi-final because it would stress me. So I just um, kept being aggressive like in the previous matches. And I don't know, like I feel really lucky that I'm feeling good and no, nothing hurts me. So um, yeah, I hope I'm going to play a great match tomorrow with doubles with my partner and uh, singles in two days. Yeah. All right, now, if you're taking a look at the final now between the teenager Iga Swatek, 19, yeah. and Sofia Kenin, 23, what yeah. are your thoughts on the final? Who do you think is going to get away with the victory? Um, okay, so it's going to be... Sofia Kenin is more, more experienced at the big stages at this, as it stands. But in all honesty, Iga Swatek has had a very impressive run. Mm, definitely. I mean, she beat Simona Halep, she beat um, Heishu... Shea Sue, she beat um, Vondrasova, she beat amazing players to make it up to the final. And Podoroska as well beat Elena Sitolina. So um, I think we'll just go into the game and have very open minds. Mm. Um, sometimes it's, it's very tricky, but Iga is very comfortable on clay. Apparently she's played more on, she's really comfortable on clay. And uh, it's it's tricky, but mm. I think Sofia Kenin should be able to win. Should be able to just based on experience. Mm. Yeah. All right, then we'll yeah. see whether it's going to be youth or experience yeah. that will triumph in the French Open final yeah. for the ladies. And moving over to the men, talking about the highest-ranked Greek player in tennis history, Stefanos Tsitsipas, who emerged as a victor in his quarter-final clash against the 22-year-old Russian Andrei Rublev. The entertaining encounter lasted for three sets and ended 5-7, 2-6. 3-6, all in favor of Stefano Sissipas, who will now face Novak Djokovic in the semi-finals today. What are your thoughts on that? Sissipas versus Djokovic. It wasn't easy for Djokovic, yeah. right? Yeah. And then it was a very difficult encounter for him to try and get away with his own win. And yes, yeah. he has qualified for the semi-final yeah. right now. So what are your thoughts on that? Sissipas versus Djokovic. Um, okay, so first of all, they are head to, they've met six times. Okay. And... Um, is a 50-50% mm. um, ratio. So uh, Sissipas have won three times and uh, Djokovic has won three times. They've never met on the gra in the Grand Slam, which sometimes makes all the difference mm. because that is what has uh, set the big three players apart. They are able to show up at the Grand Slams. So um, it, it's really hard to say who would win. Djokovic is probably the most difficult man to beat, but this is... This is uh, the French Open. He has only won it once. Mm. And um, I don't know. I, I just feel like putting Nadal and then Nadal at the final and waiting for whoever will come out of, of, of this uh, encounter. encounter. But it will be very interesting because, I mean, not many people have a 50% win-loss ratio against Djokovic. And Sissipas has that. Hmm. That would yeah. be very, very interesting. Yeah. Now, Djokovic had to fight for a victory against Spain's Pablo Carreño Busta. Busta took the first set, which ended 4-6, but Djokovic fought back and won the game through three more sets, ending the encounter with a 6-2, 6-3, 4 win. At the time, clay court specialist David Schwartzman triumphed in a tough encounter with 2020 US Open champion Dominic Thiem. The tightly contested encounter went into four sets as it ended 7-6, 5-7, 6-7, 7-6. It will be facing Rafael Nadal in the semifinals. Now, the king of the clay court, Rafael Nadal is well on course to securing his 20th Grand Slam title and 60th title on clay. The 34-year-old cruz pass Italy's Yannick Sinner as he ended the encounter, winning three straight sets, 7-6, 6-4, 6-1. And what are your thoughts on these two big players talking about Diego Schwartzman, Rafael Nadal? I can see the smile on your face already. You know how difficult this encounter is going yes. to be. You know how juicy it's going yes. to be. And then we're not thinking about the fact that we could have a Djokovic and Nadal final. Yes. Okay, so first of all, Diego Schwarzman is probably one of the most underrated players on the tour. I don't know why people just... But then he's been having a very terrific run. He beat uh, Nadal at the Rome Open just True. a few weeks exactly. ago. Exactly. But then it's difficult to beat Nadal consecut consecutively. Especially on clay. Especially on clay and then at the big stages in the Grand Slam. So um, I'm, I'm very... I mean, I'll put my money on Nadal any day. Hmm. Okay. In this kind of big match, you know, so but Diego Schosman will not go down without a fight, definitely. But it will yeah. be a difficult encounter, be a difficult encounter but then yeah. do you think most likely what, what, what are the odds of us seeing another Djokovic and Nadal encounter? And if that does happen, who do you think will win? The head to head record sees Djokovic tipping over Nadal, you know, yeah, yeah Nadal has more wins on clay, yeah. but you know, with all the um, the bouts that they've had, yeah. Djokovic has the better head to head record. Yeah, Djokovic has the better head-to-head -head record, but not on clay. True. Yeah, on other, on other surfaces. So it's very, looking at the semi-finals draws, it's very easy to predict a Nadal-Djokovic final where Nadal wins. 
uh, but I also don't want to rule out uh, Pass mm. very easily. But it's very easy to see a Nadal Djokovic final where Nadal wins. But this is tennis, and we're very, very open to see upsets. Definitely. Look, yes. this is tennis. <laughs> we're looking forward to upsets, definitely. Yes. We might not see a Nadal and Djokovic uh, final. It might just be a Sissi Pass and Schwarzman final. But um, this is where we wrap up the show right now. If you thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.